All right, in this video, we're going to start looking at the batch groups, batch reels, and batch itself, which is the node-based compositing environment inside of Flame. And this is also where we're going to spend the rest of our time as far as these videos are concerned. In the very end, we'll be discussing how to archive and restore projects. But up to that point, let's focus on node-based compositing in Flame. We've discussed the reels in great depth and the library and so on. Now, right above where you see it reads reels on our desktop, you see something named batch. This is called a batch group. The batch group has three separate reels named schematic reels. Schematic reel one, two, and three. Then there's a batch shelf. And on the batch shelf, there's another reel that's named batch renders. This is the default location when you render something out of a batch schematic, which we will look at a little bit later. The media that you place in your batch group, whether it's on the schematic reels in the batch group or and on a batch shelf, are relevant to the media that you will be using when you're building your composite inside the batch environment. If I go down and click on the tab that reads batch, we step into the batch environment. Above here, we are currently looking at the batch schematic. You can tell that by looking at where it reads viewing and it says batch schematic. We're going to come back and look at what all this means, but right now, just understand this top viewer is the batch schematic and also has it listed on the lower right corner of this viewing area. On the bottom of the UI, in the editing panel, we now have all the different tools that are available to us inside of batch, and there are different bins that are organized depending upon what task you might be trying to achieve. But when you click on the all nodes, you're going to access all of the nodes all of the tools that are available to you inside of batch but currently in the schematic area you see nothing there's no media there's no tools but that's because we've placed no media into our batch group yet you'll use the batch group for organization of your media you can import or move the media from your reels or from your library into your batch reels which then would place it into the batch schematic so for example if i take this clip the one that's named A008C023, and I drag it straight up and I drop it over schematic reel one, it's going to appear in my schematic for my batch, and it's now part of my batch group. Let me hit Control Z to undo that for a second. I can also just take a clip, the same clip, and drag it into the schematic area and release it, and the same thing will happen. It'll also populate it on my schematic reel one. Notice that I moved it. I didn't copy it. When we drag from our reels into the batch groups, you are moving the media. I'll minimize my reels for right now. Looking down in the library where we have a saved version of our desktop, we have several clips that are inside the reel four for this desktop. Let me go back to my tools tab just to emphasize something here. And I wanna make sure I'm looking at my reels and currently we're still looking at the reels. I wanna be looking at my batch group, so I click the little eye icon over here next to where it reads batch, and now we can see the one media source, the clip that I just dragged and dropped into our batch reel. Once again, I'm gonna minimize my reels just to organize this a little better, and we see now in our library the media I was just referring to. There's one, two, three, four, five other clips that we're gonna be using for this composite and I want to add them as part of my batch environment. I'll click the top clip called Alt Sin Beauty. I'll hold the Shift key and click on Mountain 02 Matte, and I'll just drag them all and drop them right onto Schematic Reel 3 for my batch group. You'll notice all this media is added to the Schematic Reel 3 that is part of my batch group, but I didn't move it. When we take it from our library, we are creating a copy of it. And if I go down and click on the batch tab, we step back into the schematic and I now have a clip node for each one of those sources, those images that we just added. A nice organizational workflow that I like to utilize is what's called using a shelf reel. A shelf reel is a reel that will appear on the batch shelf. Right now we already have our batch renders reel in the batch shelf, but I wanna add a shelf reel 
So if I right click over where it reads batch and I choose shelf reel, you'll notice that a new shelf reel just was added and it's waiting for me to rename it. And it's on my batch shelf. I'm just going to click in here. Let's just get rid of the words new and I'll just leave it named shelf reel. Now we see all five of these clips right here inside the schematic and also on our schematic reel three. I will select all five of them and I'll drag and drop them onto the shelf reel. Now they've been placed on my shelf reel, but they are not visible inside of my schematic. And when I want to access them, they're right there waiting for me to access them. Also understand that you can create as many batch groups as you want. So if you're working on four different shots, you can create a new batch group, have that all organized, and your schematic flowchart will be part of that batch group for a specific shot. And then when you want to access another one, it's right there inside of your media panel. And then you can save your project and organize the work that you're doing all with inside one project. But I'm not going to do that for right now. I'm just going to click away to discard that. But that's a great workflow to understand. You can have as many batch groups and they're independent of each other. But in this tutorial, we are going to focus on one batch group, one shot with the media that I now have placed inside of this batch group. I want to save my desktop. So I click the save button and it's going to ask me once again, as we learned earlier, what do you want to do with this? I want to replace the existing desktop in my default library with the configuration that I have right now with the footage and configuration that I have. So I choose replace and it is now replaced. If I expand the desktop down here inside my library, you now see I have the one media source in schematic one. And if I scroll down a little bit, we can see we have our shelf reel with the other media that we're gonna be using a little bit later. At this point, I'm not concerned about the reels. I'm not concerned about my libraries. So I'm gonna click the batch tab on top. I now have a very neat, clean and organized environment to start working with. In the next video, we're going to start looking at the viewports with inside of Batch.